Hi, uh, so this is a quick tutorial on how to create a procedural mesh in CryEngine 5 or T++. Somebody asked a question on the um, on YouTube um, how to make a procedural maze. So this is uh, how to do that. Um, in fact, I'm just taking the terrain creation uh, tutorial that they put up on the CryEngine forums a while back and modulating the surface with um, uh, changes to make a maze. Um, so if you make a flat terrain and use the maze uh, code, you'll just get a standard maze, but this is modulating a, uh, like a height field for a mountain with a maze. Um, so that's what we'll get. Uh, the way we do that is, okay, so over on the, um, on the forums, I have this tutorial on how to create custom height maps, and that still works in CryEngine 5. I think there was only one minor change I had to make. Um, okay, so you would just uh, create a new project uh, using a C++ blank template. Um, we've seen that before. I've got other tutorials on how to do that. Create the project. I've done that a few times now. So for example, here, you open it up then uh, in Explorer and you launch Visual Studio with code TPP script here and you get this and what I did is I simply edited the code in geomentity.cpp and uh, .h. You could you know, add two new files here, uh, a cpp and a .h file and copy over the code from the geom entity uh, class and then just rename the class to the height field or something but for simplicity i just edited the uh, the, uh, the class that's given with the blank template and then the code <coughs> that comes in here with functions like generate fractal terrain and so on is literally the code which is uh, over here on the uh, i'll put the link at the bottom of the uh, in the description below. So down here there are functions like um, uh, calculate height square and calculate height diamond because it's using the uh, diamond square algorithm for fractal terrain creation and then there's a generate fractal terrain function and so on. I think the only, the only change uh, was that here I was using a function called, um, I think it was cry underline rand or frand, and just replaced that everywhere with rand. Okay, so let me show you that. So here we go. Yeah, everywhere there was a, a cry underline frand, I just replaced it with rand to get it to compile. Um, so that's it. Uh, then to so that'll create your mountains. Um, if you want a flat maze, then you would comment out the generate fractal terrain line here. And what I did was I added in code here uh, to modulate the um, the terrain uh, with a maze. Let me just stop this. Let's see that. Um, so there's lots of code examples on the web for how to create a, uh, a maze. Here is one, and I'll put the link below. It's by a guy called Jay Seung. Uh, and somebody else kindly, uh, so he made a video on YouTube uh, showing his terrain. And somebody else then, um, I think it's Stephen Pendley. Uh, thanks, Stephen. Stephen took the code from Jay that he saw in the video and put it up here on, uh, on pastebin.com. Um, um, slight modifications because this is a, a console application where he, he writes a he writes characters to the console, um, but we want to we want to make a three D maze. So um, 
I'll just show you this. At the top of the uh, GeoMentally CPP file, um, I have the code. So it's including uh, stack. Uh, and this is literally the code from that from that website. So I'll put a, a link to that as well. Um, initialize the maze, generate the maze, and then, you know, anything to do with uh, how he outputs the the maze onto the console, we, we uh, comment out. Because we just want the content of his level uh, struct here, the struct array, um, because uh, that will tell us how to change the height field. And then we use that down here. We create a, um, a maze level. Um, initialize it, generate it, and then in here, these two lines are the change. So everywhere in his level struct where there is a an asterisk, I just change the height of that um, point in our height field, uh, you know, displace it upwards by a factor. So let's build that and see what it looks like. It, one of the comments, th these lines didn't compile for me from the original code from the uh, the form tutorial, so um, I just commented them out here, it's fine. Um, so let's run it. I'll open up a level, see if this one works. Building the maze. Yeah. There you are. There's a, a procedurally generated um, maze for the engine. And um, so if you added that code, that entity code to the game SDK code, then you can spawn your uh, player and run around. And you can spawn in some AI and so on to maybe uh, chase you or, or fight against you. If you can make your own sort of 3D uh, action Pac-Man type game with that. All right, so hope you like that one. See you soon. Bye.